Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again, and I have something very special and very exciting for you today. I actually picked up one of the first Ruger LCP 2s to hit the market here in North Carolina. I was really lucky. They are pretty hard to find. I actually picked it up at a local shop here, and I got it for $279.99, which is a pretty decent price for the upgrades that you will see. This uh, new firearm was just announced from Ruger last week. So there's a lot of buzz about this new one and it looks like there's a lot of good updates, a lot of good upgrades from the original LCP and I'm pretty excited to take it to the range. I have not shot it yet, but as you can tell, I have a concoction of about 125 rounds that I'm gonna run through the gun in the next few days. So right now, this is just an unboxing and initial review of the LCP2, but I am gonna run some brass, some steel, and well, some steel, not all the box, because steel is iffy sometimes, but definitely all the brass, some steel, and a handful, uh, probably a couple mags of the Hornady Critical Defense, which is, pretty good. This stuff would be the stuff I'd carry in this firearm. So I've had these for quite a long time, so I haven't really had a 380 in a while. So those are just kind of lying around in the safe. But so without further ado, let's jump in. And I'll show you guys what you get when you pick up one of these. So typical reading material, ads, all that good stuff. Now this was in a bag. It wasn't really in this holster when I got it, but the bag mysteriously disappeared. So I'm assuming it got stuck at the gun shop I picked it up at, but it actually did have a tag, a little uh, barrel check chamber in indicator there, has a rubber band around it, has a little advertisement there, new and redesigned, LCP2, kind of cool. One magazine, six rounds, 380 caliber, really sticky. You can see there's a, there was a sticker on the back, so this will have to be cleaned. Um, nothing in the chamber, but if you wanna take a look at that, completely redesigned, thicker back strap with more kind of texture on the back here. Um, it's still with the magazine. You can only get a couple of fingers on there. But from what I heard, I haven't, like I said, I haven't shot this yet. From what I heard from the, um, the shop owner who actually has put a couple hundred rounds to this already, not this one, but they, this is the one of the new ones, but this one has not been shot yet. He actually went and said this thicker back strap, you can tell it's a lot thicker in the back here, it really helps with felt recoil. And he said it's phenomenal. And you'll also notice that there is much higher sights on the firearm. And you'll see that it actually has serrations on the back of each of the sights, front and back. It also has cuts in the slide in the front and the back that are much more uh, grippy, I would say, than originally, on the original LCP. Uh, similar mag release, mag pops out, even with all that gunk on there. Comes with one magazine. Just one, so actually I picked up a second one. These are really hard to find. I picked this up at the same store, the last one in stock they had. The reason why they're hard to find is the LCP2 magazine, just the two, is the only one, as of right now, that will lock the slide back on the last round. A regular LCP magazine will not do that. It'll just go forward and you won't tell that you're empty or not. So the LCP2 magazine is the only one that does lock it on the last round. Now, one of the big improvements beyond the looks and kind of the texture is that it does have this really neat trigger and it's more of your traditional Glock or M&P kind of style safety on the trigger. So it's not a double action anymore, it's a single action if you want to hear. It is a loud break because of, there is a hammer in the back here. It's not, you know, it does cock the hammer back so if you saw that, but reset. Is not bad. The fact that this trigger is much nicer than it used to be means that when you're holding this gun and you're shooting it, I mean, it's not gonna be a super fun gun to, on the range, but you know, 50 rounds or so, and you'll wanna give your hand a break. 
but in a defensive situation, that trigger would be key. Um, and you can choose to carry it, you know, one in the chambers, you can do six plus one, or I might even try to practice carrying it with uh, nothing in the chamber, but it depends on, you know, what it looks like. So, and that's a safety, you know, what you wanna do. But it does come with a little cable lock there, a replaceable bottom uh, base plate for your magazine. So if you wanted to make it you know, it'll look kind of like this. You can make it as small as possible. It's already pretty slim. And you still get a couple of fingers on there, but that extra pinky hole, well, they call it a, they call it a pinky hole there. It's really almost for your ring finger there. Let's see, and you also get uh, this right here. It's pretty cool. It's a in the pocket holster. Leather on each side. Fits very nicely into that. Little silica thing. So if you have this in your pocket, you know, some people will have it loaded, just keep your finger off the trigger, or you can go and leave it without around in the chamber, pull it out, and now you have an easier way to actually cock the gun. You can go front and the whole thing, or you can just go from the back, but it's much grippier, I think, than it was before. Uh, just a quick kind of fun reference here. These mags, by the way, are running about $30. I expect that to go down as become, they more and more come out. But it does take the original LCP mag, but it will not lock the slide, as I said. Just for fun, I wanna show you guys the difference in these pistols. So, on the top here is a shield, unloaded, and I will do a review, I think, comparing the shield and the LCP eventually, especially like almost like a range video. But you'll see this LCP is tiny, 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 tiny. Really thin, really small, great little mouse gun or pocket pistol. And what's even more insane about this gun is the weight. So I'll show you guys real quick. And it's a big reason why these have sold millions for the LCP. So unloaded LCP 2 comes in at 10.6, which is actually exactly what Ruger has specified on the website. Shield unloaded with a seven round mag. Remember the LCP is only six rounds, 20.6. So half the weight, half the weight is a big deal. I know a lot of people don't wanna be weighed down, especially in the summer when you have, you know, just wearing shorts or anything like that. So this is an excellent option, especially with the different kind of loads you can get for ammunition. Uh, just some specs before we go. Um, six plus one capacity, barrel length is 2.75, overall length 5.17, weight, like I said, is 10.6. The grip frame is a black high, uh, high performance glass filled nylon. And you also have uh, slide materials, alloy steel, alloy steel, width is only 0.91, which is pretty cool. And uh, the sights are really neat because they're they, are, they don't drift, but they do have um, the ability to actually kind of um, anti-glare on there with the serrations. Height is 3.71, and let's see, MSRP is 349, So, but you can get these around 279. So. so yeah, that's it guys. You know, it's a really cool, neat little pocket gun, a great upgrade from the LCP. I wasn't impressed with the original LCP, but I finally decided to give this one a try. So look out for a review. I'm gonna put about um, 100 rounds through it in the next few days, and I'll throw a review on there about how it did. So definitely uh, subscribe to the channel so you can catch that. Like this video. Let me know if you have any questions at all about this being a new firearm in the market. If you have any questions at all before you buy, you know, hit them below and uh, have a good one.